I'm Dr. Matthew McFall here at NUSA, and I have the unusual uh, but important job title of being an agent of wonder. <laughs> this room is um, a place to spark questions and discovery. I never know what I might find, so I myself am constantly um, delighted and uh, come to marvel at what goes on in here. Um, lots of activity, lots of questions, um, surprises, jokes, I like jokes, um, mysteries, trickery, um, and the glory is that because this space um, is growing and evolving, um, new things come and old things go. A lot of the collection, I suppose, has been with me since I was four, five, since I was a kid. You know, my first magic set, um, some of my earliest puzzles, some of my favourite books. Certain types of mechanical puzzle always delight me because um, I always believe that for every person there's a type of puzzle that will bring them um, delight as well as perhaps some frustration. I like to think that every um, subject that is taught in the school um, finds its place somewhere in this room. Sometimes obviously and sometimes you know, darkly through shadows. There are sessions in here which are very much drop-in sessions um, chances just to explore and have a look around and there'll be more formal sessions that might connect into certain lessons. I'll also occasionally box things up and send them off into classes to be used um, by teachers and, and pupils elsewhere. Wonder's not just something contained within a box, it's something that has the that ought to be um, enjoyed uh, in its expansion outside of a location. Pictures are, are wondrous um, but the actual things themselves um, sometimes labelled and sometimes unlabelled, sometimes known and sometimes mysterious. They have the real, that's, that's the real power, the actual encounter with the thing rather than just the image of the thing. This brilliant device is called a Benham disc, invented by a toy maker in the late 1800s. When you spin it, although it's black and white, when you spin it, colours appear. And how those colours um, are perceived um, remains the subject of some debate. Here we have something called a voodoo lily, popularly known as a voodoo lily. It bloomed two weeks ago, so now you're just seeing it seemingly past its prime. When you first get it, it's just a little um, growth like this, but um, after a few weeks, bright green shoots emerge, and this astonishing mottled purple flower, um, which for one day releases a smell of um, rotten flesh, which attracts flies which are important for its pollination. Well, as somebody once said, how can you appreciate the smell of a rose until you smell a voodoo lily? It's quite something. One of the ways I think the, um, the, the wonder and hands-on experiences help are that they can give, um, give new meaning um, and new awareness. Um, so I've seen many of the objects in this room spark thoughts um, and new interests in pupils. So they will start to ask questions and they'll often be inspired to start their own collection. So I've now got pupils I know that are collecting shells, um, collecting models, um, suddenly becoming interested in the elements, so they're beginning to take notice of the periodic table. And you know, the world is full of stuff. And I think if you've got the eyes for it, you'll begin to notice that it's all around you and it's not necessarily difficult to acquire. So new hobbies, new collections, new ownerships um, certainly would be one of the, one of the real joys of, of this room. There doesn't seem to be any day when there's not some sign of life.